Hi everyone! I was very happy that after a very successful tech about Desert Island, Zoya Archer invented another one also very interesting and her second tech dedicated to the coloring YouTube. I will try to answer to couple of Zoya's questions and meanwhile I will be coloring light bulb bugler coloring book using neocolor crayons just for you to have something on the screen. So the first question is how many coloring channels do you have in your subscription? I think that I have about 10 coloring channels and also 20 or maybe 30 channels dedicated to painting and drawing. When do you prefer to watch coloring channels? Usually I watch them after I return from my work in the evening when I can get myself a cup of coffee and enjoy new videos. If I have in my subscription videos about new coloring books, I prefer to watch them immediately. And if I have new tutorials to watch, I prefer to watch them maybe on weekends when I have more free time to enjoy, to watch them slowly. So art halls and book reviews I watch immediately and the other long videos I prefer to watch on the weekends. Next question is how you balance to find time for watching coloring videos, for coloring yourself and for creating videos. For me, of course, uh, the basic part of my free time goes to the coloring and making videos. For me it's the same because I almost never color without filming it. And of course I also need additional time for taking pictures, for editing video. So unfortunately I don't have so much time for watching coloring YouTube. Usually during each day I spend one or two hours for coloring and then also some time for editing. Or maybe I just film uh, videos during my work week and on, uh, on the weekend I can edit everything and create videos to add sounds and pictures and so on. And then I will reload it and I will publish in them during the week. It's quite time consuming, especially long for me takes to add sounds and to add <laughs> commentaries to my videos. It's much harder for me than coloring itself. Next question is absolutely great. Is there a difference between videos which you prefer to watch and videos which you prefer to create? Of course, the difference for me is huge. I love to watch art halls, of course. I love to watch tutorials and I love to watch short videos. Yes, don't laugh at me. I prefer short videos. As I said, unfortunately, I don't have much time for watching. So usually I speed up all coloring videos and maybe I just watch them partially, beginning, middle part and the end result if I am interested in some techniques or color combos then I will slow part of the video but I just can't watch the whole process in real time. And it's fun really because on my channel I usually do a real-time videos and film almost every part of my coloring process. It was a choice of my subscribers who said that it's the best way for them to learn and for me it's easy in this way. I don't have to edit video for a long time so it's really easy to create real-time videos without too much editing. And personally I don't like to make art haul videos for myself and I'm always nervous when I decided to do something like a tutorial. I always think that 
I'm talking about things which everyone already knew that I can't uh, teach you properly enough so it's not very relaxing for me and I'm always always have some doubts about creating new tutorials but I really enjoy watching them on other channels and speaking about videos which I neither particularly like to watch nor I like to create is that long videos with charting about things which are not related to the coloring process or art supplies and I usually also don't like to watch live streams and it's not because of the time difference or difficulty to understand speaking language maybe it's because I just don't have so much time to watch such videos I have to dedicate my time to the family of course and to my hobby and unfortunately in this way I'm not a huge lover of such videos with a lot of chatting and live streaming next question is who was your first color tuber for me of course it was Peter Hewitt I'm absolutely in love with her channel. I think that she did a lot of wonderful things for coloring community. I think that she started this color tube videos and she helped me to fall in love with this hobby and I'm immensely grateful for her for this wonderful addition to my life. So Peter Hewitt was my first YouTube channel and I would gladly looking all of her new videos. I hope that maybe one day she will decide to return to us and to give us more of her wonderful tutorials. Another one of my favorite color tube channels is Coloring Queen, of course, Lea. I believe that she has every each and every coloring book in this world and I really love the way she prepared her reviews. Her opinion is always very open, very truthful. I can believe everything she says about quality of the book. So her re reviews are great and I always watch them. And I'm quite happy that she is able to show us so many wonderful books. And without her, I would, wouldn't know about many, many beautiful coloring books. I also love to watch Chris Chang channel and of course channel of Shirley XLY. I will leave you a link. Unfortunately, Shirley didn't have any new tutorials. I think for more than a half year already but I again I hope that she will return and she always creates such fantastic pictures that it's always a joy for me even to rewatch her old videos next question is what have you learned from coloring YouTube oh I've learned a lot of things of course, I learned about color pencils, about different techniques for using them, about wonderful art supply which are existed, about wonderful artists who create coloring book and about wonderful artists who color them. But this is not as much as important as the other thing which I learned from color tube. The most important thing for me which I've learned is that how kind and supportive are people on Coloring YouTube. You know, I was so nervous when I first did my videos where I added English audio, English commentaries and in that time my English was absolutely horrible, I would say. It's far from good now and it was horrible then but during these two years for during which I create my coloring videos I've never got any any negative commentaries about my videos from people around the world 
except people from my own country and people who speak Russian. But it's absolutely different story. So people were so supportive about my videos, about what I showed them, about my coloring and also about my English. So I just can't express how happy I am to learn your co uh, to read your comments about things that you created using my videos and about inspirations that you got from them and this happiness is absolutely incredible and it really helps to enlighten my life really and it's thanks to my channel i meet a lot of absolutely wonderful people which i now can even call my friends even if we haven't met in person but they are wonderful and I'm so happy that I got a possibility to know them. And again, it's thanks to the color, Coloring YouTube and thanks to my channel. And for this, I always will be very and very grateful. And the other very important thing which I learned from Coloring YouTube is never to be afraid to experiment, to try something new, to share your experience with people. And even if it wasn't very successful, you just have to try it again and everything will be much, much better. And this adds another interesting step to your hobby and it will help you to develop new skills and enjoy your hobby even more that sometimes even stepping out of your comfort zone also can be enjoyable and not so stressful as you can think it before you start it coloring youtube helps me to never lose my inspiration sometimes i don't want to color i think to myself that maybe I will dedicate my free time to my other hobbies like cross stitching, like my home plans or other things and I just maybe I just watch one or two videos and then I again got this feeling that I want to color, I want to paint, I have so many ideas just after a couple of YouTube videos and I Again, I'm very happy that I have this possibility to recharge my myself, my creative battery and to go and to create something new for you in return. And if I correctly understood as the last question, it's what you don't like on coloring YouTube or what is frustrating you when you watch videos. If I speak as a person who watch videos, I don't like only two things. First one is when camera is shaking and unfortunately immediately shaking camera or, or almost immediately gave me a headache so I can't watch such kind of videos. And the second thing is when the lighting is not very good and I'm just not able to see properly what colors colorist uses and i can't enjoy uh, all details of the picture and it's just pity because i can see that the whole picture is good but i can't see details due to the poor quality of the lighting and speaking as a blogger of course i don't like negative comments maybe not negative but but openly haters who sometimes leave comments on, on this channel and as I said it's very fun because I never got any negative comments from the worldwide coloring community but I've got a lot about common, such comments from people Russian speaking from my own country so it's quite upsetting thing but I try not to concentrate on it and I think that positive comments which you left me much much overweight all that negativity so I just simply ban on all those haters and I continue on my journey my happiest moments which coloring tube gave me 
is when you share with me your coloring which you created using my tutorials or just leave me messages that you wanted to go and to create something after you watched my videos and this is my happiest moment and this is the thing which always supports me and helps me to continue I hope that you will that we will have a lot of new interesting channel on coloring YouTube and that some old channels will return to us and gave us many new wonderful tutorials which helps us to create and to learn and to improve and first of all to enjoy our hobby. Thank you for listening to my answers. And I hope that Zoe Archer or maybe other colorists will create another interesting tag. And it's a great way to know each other better. And I hope that you wasn't very boring with this video. And I almost finished the background for this picture. If you have any suggestions how to improve my channel, about what what kind of videos you prefer to watch, anything, anything you want to tell me, I will be happy to read it in comments. Enjoy your coloring, enjoy our very supportive, very creative coloring YouTube community and I hope to see you in my new videos. Bye, have a great day!